for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll see what's coming up for the word present. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So Pisces, for the recent past energy between you and your person, the Two of Swords, and it's with the Page of Wands. Now the Two of Swords... It could be about your partnerships. They're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. But you might have needed to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this does require open communication on both parts. Just know nothing will change without effort. Now, it's, it's with this Page of Wands. Page of Wands, they can be warm, ambitious, and high achievers. And if this is not an actual person, it does indicate the energy of easy distraction. So, it's about trying to stay focused. This card, it does indicate that things you started some time ago, they could start to come to fruition. It's also showing a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. This page, it brings a positive energy, but you have to supply the follow through because of the energy of easy distraction. So basically, Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person, two of swords, <clears throat> clarified by the page of wands. So, yeah, it looks like you're dealing with someone. Wow. Okay. The, when you hear the word page in the, in the um, tarot, that can mean a student. That can mean youth immaturity or someone younger than you so you're dealing with someone someone that you decided to avoid <laughs> yeah there's two of swords they do they they avoid and they block but this person they got a lot of passion for you yep a lot of passion Yeah, so this person, they probably reached out to you a lot with messages. Maybe they text you a lot. They called you a lot. Because this page of wands is about message of messages of love and affection coming in. This person reaching out to you. Yeah, you're dealing with someone who really likes you. But you avoid and you block them. They could be too immature for you. Maybe they're a lot younger than you. Maybe they do things that you don't really um, understand or appreciate. Because there's some immaturity here. So you, you block this person. Or you could be trying to avoid them. So let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Well... We got the Nine of Wands, and it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Wands, when this card comes up, the first and the best step is to try to take a deep breath. Calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Try to take things one day at a time, one hour at a time if you can, because this card is about anxiety. Some of the worries, they're very likely to, to turn out to be imaginary. And I say this because if you look at the Nine of Wands, it's, it's a card above the word present. He's kind of like caged himself in with all these wands. And it looks like there could be a fire behind him. Yeah, he's ready to battle someone. Because he has his stick or his wand, in, one wand in his hand. And he looks like he's ready to take on somebody. But there's no one there. There's no one coming. 
So some of the worries they'll turn out to be imaginary. Get specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Pick it apart. Ask yourself what's the likelihood of the worry actually happening. Now it's with this nine of pinnacles, which is beautiful. Nine of pinnacles. Well, ten of pinnacles is the tops. So nine of pinnacles, you're just short of one pinnacle. So that's not bad. Pretty darn good here. It's one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, they're, they're over for a while. And that things will be going better than you even thought possible. So enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth and happiness with others. So basically, this person, this page here who has so much passion for you and they, they're always reaching out to you, this person causes you anxiety for some reason. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Why do they cause you anxiety? It's just showing that they got a lot of passion for you. <laughs> and they probably reach out to you all the time. All the time. And that they may be immature. So it's causing you anxiety. And it's with this Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, this person, they see you as someone that they could have, that they want to have a good relationship with. They see you as someone that's, They want, they want this to be a relationship that goes to the next level and to the next level, all the way up to the nine. They would go for the ten, but it's not in the reading. The ten of pentacles. They would go for the ten of pentacles with you, but you're someone that they want this to go really well with, really well. Nine of pentacles can be about waiting yeah, you see, I don't know if you can see the details of this Nine of Pentacles. But if you look at her face, it looks like she's waiting on something. She's, yeah, but things are good, but she, she could be waiting on that other pinnacle. Because she's missing one. Ten is the tops. But it's good. It's a good card to get. This is how your person, they see you as, uh, yeah, someone that they want a good relationship with. But they're, they're waiting. They're waiting for you to get stuck out of your anxiety about them. Yeah, they're waiting for you, Pisces. Got somebody that really likes you here. So let's move on over and let's see what we got coming up for the challenge. Well, we got the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Now, the Three of Pentacles... It's very positive. It could be related to work or a career question, but it's overall a good card in the deck. It means that you're doing well. The Three of Pentacles, it does tell you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do, even if you're not being paid. It tells you to keep, what you, keep doing what you're doing because you're on track. There could be some room for improvement, but... But at this time, you will not have to scrap something and then start again. Definitely not. Not as a Three of Pentacles. Now, it's with the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. So when you get the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups in a reading, um, that's about love. It has a very loving energy, those two cards. Two of the most loving cards in the, in the tarot. This could indicate a woman who will be helpful to you. She'll remind you to bring love, compassion to your work. And that's even possible even if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. Things are probably better in your working world. Your working world when you get this card. So, think positive. This is a love reading, so. Things are probably better 
in your romantic world when you get the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so the challenge, Pisces, Three of Pentacles, clarified by this Queen of Cups. So, hmm, I'm picking up that you might have thought about offering this person Or you might have thought about being loving towards this person, but they need to show you more. They need to show you that they could bring teamwork to the connection, that they they need to show you what they offer, what they can offer. So yeah, if this person can you want them, you need them to impress you with something. You're not impressed. Yeah, because, like I said, you might have given it a thought that you want to nurture this connection or be or be of some type of support to this person or connection, but they need to show you more. Yeah, they need to maybe offer some benefits or something because that's what the Three of Pentacles is about. Great benefits. Queen of Cups is nurturing and healing, but it's a challenge. So, yeah, you you were you were at one point, or you might might start to think that you could offer this person what they want, but they need to show you some benefits. Yeah, show you some skill or something. So benefits could be anything. Hey, maybe you're looking for them to put you on their 401k policy. That's a benefit. Put you on their life insurance policy. Put you on their life insurance policy. That's a benefit. Show you that they're a good lover. They haven't done much. Yeah, so it might have crossed your mind. Maybe, maybe you want to. It just slapped you in the face just a little bit that you offer this person love, but then you then you thought, hmm, they, they really need to show you something, show you some skill or something. So anyway, that is the challenge. Let's move on over and let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got the Empress and it's with the Ten of Swords. Now the Empress... It's a very, um, it's a good energy. It doesn't, the Empress doesn't play by the rules. Just know she has her own way of doing things, her own ideal of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, this doesn't mean she'll always get her way, but it's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially because there's many types of wealth, many types of riches in life and money is only one of them but the Empress can have it all absolutely they can have it all, everything everything yeah, it's a potent time for love as the Empress it could be a time when you find men and women alike all of a sudden finding you far more attra far more attractive, both in terms of friendship and romance. So you want to be careful how you use this power. Don't underestimate its potency. Yeah, the Empress can have it all. Now, let's see, it's... Clarified by the Ten of Swords, which is showing it's a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. When the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable. Well, if you take a look at the picture, it's a pretty clear answer of no. But you have to keep in mind that 
Whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. So basically, Pisces, the outcome, the Empress and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that the reason why you, you kind of gave this person a second thought or maybe even thought to give them a chance with this Queen of Cups here, if they'd only show you something, like if they only could offer you something or just show you what they show you some skill or some quality or some great benefits or something you you looks like you might give it a thought but like i said they need to prove something to you and it's because you are kind of attracted to this person yeah you you find this person to be handsome or attractive so that could be a reason why at first, you, you avoid and you block them. They cause you anxiety because they're always messaging you and trying to reach out to you. They want to, they see you as someone they could have a good relationship with, but they need to show you more. You do find this person attractive. You're drawn to them in some kind of way. Maybe they're good looking. But the outcome is showing that Yeah, you don't trust that the connection can be stable. Yeah. Yeah, you don't trust that this will go anywhere. Yeah, they're probably just just too immature. Or something, you know what it is. But anyway, you do find them appealing. Maybe they're, they're eye candy or something. But, yeah, you don't trust that this connection will go anywhere. So, Pisces, that's the reading that I have for you today. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again... If you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading which will be in about another four or five days, and it's going to be for the month of November. Do keep in mind for these readings, the roles can be switched. And also, if you're not dealing with a love interest, it could be a friend or a family member or a situation. So Pisces, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. Thanks for all my new subscribers. My old subscribers, thank you so much. It really helps to grow my channel, so I appreciate all of you. So, I hope you have a great day. And I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.